Hey there! In this video, I'll show you how to add text box in Final Cut Pro. It's really easy, and I'll show you seven different ways you can add text, including a keyboard shortcut to add text automatically. I'm going to share with you where to find your titles and how to get to them. Then I'm going to show you seven different ways to add text to your project. Next, I'll show you two ways to change the text. Then I'll show you how to customize the font. Next, I'll show you how to change the duration of your text clip. First things first, you need to go to the Titles browser. You can do that by clicking this icon right here, or you can go up to Window, go to, and uh, select Titles and Generators. Or you can just use the shortcut code, Alt-Command-1. It'll take you right there. On the left hand side you'll see categories here of different titles and then within a category you'll see these dividers with the words those are themes so those are a way to divide a category up into subcategories another thing you can do to find your title is search for it click on the search bar and just start typing and it will pull up different uh, titles if you want to search all of your titles click on the top where it says titles here and then you can start typing. Now that you've found your title you can add it to your project by dragging and dropping it. You can also double click it and it will put it wherever the playhead is in your timeline. So if I want a title here I can put my playhead right there. I can come up and double click and it will put that title right there for me. There's also a few shortcuts you can use to add your title to your project. Go up to Edit Menu and then down to this section here. You can connect to your primary storyline by pressing Q. That adds a title to your primary timeline which is whatever is here in the middle and it puts it wherever your playhead is. So you can move your playhead here and quickly press Q and it's been added. You can also insert your title by pressing W. Notice that it splits the primary storyline and inserts your title wherever your playhead is. You can press E to add a title to the end of your timeline. So it's going to add it here at the end after this clip. You can also overwrite with a title. So move your playhead where you want it to go, press D, and you'll notice it overwrites whatever is in the timeline with your title. It didn't split this clip and shift it like the insert would do. Instead, it overwrote whatever was in the timeline with this title. You can also quickly add a default title by pressing Control T. Set your playhead, Control T, and it puts in this title. By default, this basic title is your default title, but you can change that by right clicking on any title and selecting Make Default Title. To add your default lower third, just press Control shift t and you'll have a basic lower third put in there. And just like the default title, you can select any lower third and make that your default lower third. Just right click on it and select Make Default Lower Third. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. Now that you've added your text, you can now change the words. The fastest way to do it is to just double click on your title clip in the timeline. You'll see it selected the first word in this title. So I can change this real quick. To go to the next word, I can use these arrows up here in the corner. Or I can also double click on this word in here. You can also change it by selecting the clip and then selecting one of the words. And you'll see this text box open up over here. You can double click on this and change the words in here. Another way to change the word is to just double click on the text. Once you've added your own words, you can customize the look of it. If you click on this title icon up here, you'll have some published parameters that you can change. In this case, we can change the font, the size, and the color. If you want more options, click on this uh, icon here called the text inspector. 
Here we can change the font again, the size, but we can also change a ton of other things like the alignment. We'll try this font and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. If we scroll down, we have a ton of options here. We can change the face. That'll give us color options. We can change the opacity of it as well if we want it to be a little see-through. We can change the blur. You can also add an outline, a glow, drop shadow, tons of different options. Let's change the surfer as well to match. Now that you have your text how you want it, you might want to change how long it's on screen. There's a few ways to do that. You can simply hover over the end of the title clip, and drag and drop to make it longer or shorter. You can also select the, the clip and press Control D, and that'll pop up this timing tool. Right now it's at five seconds. Let's say we want it to show up for just four seconds. So you just press Control D and enter the time you want it to display. You can also trim when your text template starts and ends by holding down Alt and Bracket. So I want it to start here. So I'll hold down Alt and press left bracket. Then I want it to end right here. So I'll hold down Alt and press right bracket. Now that you know how to add text to Final Cut Pro, I want to show you how to bring it to life and animate it. I made another video called How to Make Animated Text in Final Cut Pro. Go ahead and click here to check it out.